In this message from Upstate Merch, we're talking about screen, print, and artwork size. Apparently size matters. This is a screen. I got this out of my window. Can we use this? We put your design on the screen. Jesus. And then we'll push ink through the screen onto your shirt. We use the same size screen for the entire order, which means your print can only be as big as what fits on your smallest shirt. So say you get a youth extra small or a ladies extra small, all the way up to unisex 3X, and say your design is supposed to be a full chest, a full chest on a youth extra small might only be six to eight inches wide. It may look a little small on the big shirts and big on the small shirts. It is possible to do a separate print size for smaller garments, but it's technically a separate order because it requires us to create and set up a different set of screens. Meaning you'll have to get at least 12 pieces, of course, because that is our minimum order. That makes a baker's dozen. At Upstate Merch, we have standard prints and oversized prints. Our standard print max dimensions are 12.5 inches wide by 16 inches tall. It's a rectangle. Rectangle! Like the print space on a shirt. I'm wearing a large shirt. Here's the area taped off. 12.5 by 16, that's the max standard. That's the limit. Push it to the limit. Your standard print doesn't have to be that big. Sometimes bigger isn't better. The hell it ain't. You seen the lift kit on my truck? If not specified, we'll usually do most chest prints at about 11 or 11.5 inches wide. We feel that provides the best visual of the logo without having it wrap around the body or under the armpits. If you exceed either of those dimensions, you're no longer getting a standard print. You're getting supersized like McDonald's. It's supersized! An oversized print. 14.5 inches wide by 20 inches tall is our oversized print limit. Take it to the limit. The smallest size shirt that fits on is generally a unisex small. Wearing a large, here is the area taped off. To get the most out of an oversized print, it's best to design the image in that rectangular print space. <laughs> Sometimes customers will submit artwork that is a square. A square, Betty! Or wider rather than taller, and they want it to take up the entire front of the shirt. What happens is the image reaches the width limitation before the height. The only way to get it to take up the rest of the available print space is to stretch it out of proportion. Let's not blow this out of proportion. Which is generally not recommended as it can have a funhouse mirror effect on the images. Circles become ovals, squares become rectangles. Dogs and cats living together, mass hysteria. Whether you're creating your own artwork or having a designer do it for you, please keep those dimensions in mind. It's better to make a design too big than too small. If the image is too big and we shrink it, it will retain the image quality. If the image is too small and we blow it up, it will lose quality and the edges will become pixelated. The resolution you'll wanna work with is 300 DPI. That's 300 dots per inch, of course. If you go into Photoshop and say the resolution is 72 and you change it to 300, that doesn't work. You're not fooling anybody. Fool me once, shame on, you can't get fooled again. For the file type itself, it doesn't matter much. JPEG, PDF, ESP, AI, PNG, those are all good. As long as the image is as big as you want it in inches at 300 DPI. If you aren't sure how big you want your image on your shirt, it's not a bad idea to measure it out on your own shirt with a ruler or a measuring tape. If you know nothing about digital artwork, don't care too much for computers. I sure am good with a brush. We can try to help you. We do some artwork here in-house, and we work with several artists that are much more talented than we are that we can connect you with. So remember to come on down to Upstate Merch. Upstate Merch to down on come to remember so.